Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take an in-depth look at this heavily modified 2006 Mini Cooper S 6-speed. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the Cooper S. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Hendrick Mini in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's get started up, let it run. It's a light cream exterior with custom black and red leather interior. Like I said, it is a six-speed manual. Beautiful. And since it's nighttime now, let's go ahead and get a little night star comparison of the interior lighting. Custom carbon fiber shift knob and Alcantara shift boot. Short throw transmission. All the way over and up for reverse. The vehicle has actually been converted to a John Cooper Works Mini Cooper S, so that's why you'll notice some of the badging here and there as well as some of the performance add-ons that I'll talk about later in the video. Alcantara and leather wrap steering wheel, nice and tight. And let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, as well as the fog lights, front and rear, and the hazards. Automatic windows. Now let's go and check out the exterior, shall we? High intensity discharge, projector headlamps, with carbon fiber surrounds, custom black fender flares, rally lighting pack, lower carbon fiber front splitter. The vehicle has also been lowered from the standard suspension of the Mini Cooper. It also has retractable headlamp washers. Large air induction cowl, black mesh grille, as well as these raised upper cowl vents. The headlamps are also auto leveling. John Cooper Works signature side skirts with integrated vent in the rear. Custom decals, LED turn signal accenting, as well as these custom matte black finished spoke wheels with red accenting, as well as the full John Cooper Works braking system with cross-drilled slotted ventilated brake discs. The wheels are deep dish offset. Carbon fiber rear spoiler. and gasoline cap. These technically come in the chrome fashion. Full panoramic sunroof. Curvaceous hood. As well as carbon fiber mirrors. Tinted tail lamps going along with the blacked out theme. Full boiler exhaust system. Hood release. 
release on these Mini Coopers are located on the right. This Cooper's also been fitted with pretty much every performance option available. Been completely bored out, added intercooler, front and rear stabilizer bars, MSD ignition, John Cooper Works tuning kit, DDM Works induction system, also auxiliary struts and braces provide much increased vehicle handling provide a much stiffer vehicle than a standard Mini Cooper. I know that the standard Mini Cooper S produces about 173 horsepower or so, but this one's been tuned to put out about, uh, about 240 or so at max RPMs. And as far as some more in-depth factory specifications on a base model um, Mini Cooper S, it's a 1.6 liter four cylinder single overhead cam, 16 valve. It produces 168 horsepower actually at 6,000 RPM and 162 foot-pounds of torque at 4,000 RPM. It is front-wheel drive with a McPherson strut front suspension, four-wheel independent suspension, and a multi-link rear suspension. Factory fuel economy data with a 13.2 gallon fuel tank on premium and leaded fuel is around 22 city, 29 highway. The vehicle is also supercharged from the factory with all the performance mods that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. The Mini Cooper is by far one of the most customizable vehicles available on the market today. Pretty much anything on the vehicle can be customized to individual tastes to give that unique Mini flavor. High gloss black veneer trim grace the door panels, the dash, give your lowest storage pockets, Harman Kardon audio system, billet accents, as well as leather padding found throughout the vehicle. Amber accent lighting. You also have fully manual seating. Like I said, wrapped in the customized perforated red leather and color contrast stitching. It does have side airbags, John Cooper Works door sills, custom floor mats, aluminum sport pedals, as well as a manually tilting, telescoping steering wheel. Also, as far as activating some of the auxiliary lighting up front, activator here. Definitely gives it that more rally feel. And let's go and see if she sounds. Here's some of that supercharger wine. Incredible sound. Tight door panels. In traditional mini fashion, all of the vehicle switch are in a toggle style fashion, getting kind of like an airplane cockpit feel. Like I said, it has a full Harman Kardon audio system with in dash CD player. Auxiliary sunshades, your power sunroof control,
with pop-up wind deflector. All one touch automatic. With your sunshade. Orange LED illumination throughout the vehicle. Cup holders, power outlet, heated seats for the driver and passenger, your power mirror controls, adjustable center console, hiding a rear cup holder in the back, small amount of storage, adjustable cup holder, all of your preset stations, radio modes, um, seek, tune, so on and so forth. Standard electronic climate control, all automatic, in the shape of the mini logo. Auto, front defrost, rear defrost, different zones, air conditioning, and recycling. Down below, your power window switches on either side, power locks, your fog light controls, as well as your traction settings. Cruise control, radio controls, as well as hands-free phone controls mounted on the steering wheel. You do also have automatic headlamps, if I failed to mention that earlier. Also, these gauges are also unique to this specific Mini Cooper and is an option for others. Instead of the center-mounted speedometer, you can opt for these auxiliary gauges. Here we have your oil temperature, oil pressure, fuel gauge, as well as vehicle temperature. And over here, instead of having the center-mounted um, tachometer, you have it over here, as well as your speedometer over to the right. And if anybody was wondering that little beep on the startup, that is the um, integrated radar detector here. To release the rear seat, just press this button here. Automatically folds it and slides it forward. It is modest room in the back. Mesh storage pocket behind the seats. The back seats in this Mini Cooper are also perforated. Leg seat will probably be limited depending on the height of the rear passengers and the front passengers. But headroom, I'm about 5'10", I have about an inch left of space. Your rear illumination, sunshade for the rear moonroof, side airbags for the rear, as well as side storage pockets. And getting out as a cinch. Just push that button and it folds forward. So let's go and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? And as far as trunk space goes, it is modest. But it is a smaller car. It's also illuminated. I know it's a little dark, but this one has an all-weather cargo mat in the back. Added strut tower brace for the rear. And the back seats also fold. Providing greater increased cargo space. Manual passenger seat as well, the same adjustments as the driver's seat. You also have manual lumbar for the front seats. Mini Coopers have always been known for stylish, unique interiors. With great build quality, nice and tight, roomy two-tier glove box with iPod integration.
Incredible mini performance, unique styling, as well as a comfortable interior. This basically showcases all of the customization opportunities you get with buying a Mini Cooper. By far one of the most customizable vehicles on the planet. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on this highly modified 2006 Mini Cooper S. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.